Hello everyone. Sorry for the mess up hair. Um, this is my week eight discussion board original post. Um, discuss your thoughts on intersectionality and privilege. Share takeaways from the video, readings, and podcast. So for the first part, I have some knowledge already from intersection, uh, intersectionality and uh, privilege um, through all the education that I've gained and knowledge that I've observed. From privilege, I'm privileged in the idea that I'm a middle class uh, college student who has both of my parents living still, that I have a family, that I live under a stable ho home where I can afford to go to college. I'm privileged in the idea that I can go to college for what I choose to go for, that I can be who I want to be without persecution or f fear. In a way, it's kind of weird, but there's privilege in everything we do. I'm privileged in the idea that I can be my own version of myself based on what I view or say. Privilege basically, in my opinion, is just how we view ourselves, how we present ourselves, and overly how we want people to view us versus how we want people to think about us. Although we don't control what others think, that's to their own creation. Now for the second part. Um, identify two methods of self-care and reflect on how your self-care relates to your own identity, considering your intersectionality. One ideal of self-care that I implement into my personal and professional life is meditation through music. I listen to all kinds of music. An example would be country music, rap music, only minimal amounts, rock, hip hop, dance music, and jazz. That kind of music is all from different kinds of people different backgrounds, different cultures, and they're all from unique individuals. My second form of self-care is through cultural competence, knowing how to interact with people from different cultures and different religions, knowing that each individual is different in their own unique way and there is no way for you to change their minds or their opinions. It is for you as a social worker to show that you care, that you're empathetic, and that you understand that each person is different in who they are. Thank you for listening and as always have a good night and good luck in your future endeavors in social work.